Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily Freibler. So today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Tinted Lash Primer. And I'm so excited to try this. I love lash primers. I always use one when I do my makeup. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I'm going to read off the claims of this. Uh, first thing I noticed when I picked this up and why I picked it up, honestly, was because it is a soft black color. Most of uh, uh, lash primers are white which literally doesn't make any sense um I guess it's so that you cover all of it up with mascara but like you can still kind of see it sometimes through there if you don't put enough mascara on which is just it just defeats the purpose and you have like white specs so I love the fact that this one is black um I hope more brands start doing that I've been using a lash primer for years now and I love the essence um Lash primer, that's my absolute favorite, and that's the one I use every single time I do my makeup. I have used the um, Sky High Mascara in the past. It is pretty good, but it's not my absolute favorite. I'm going to be pairing this on one eye with the Maybelline Curl Bounce Mascara. I do really, really love this from Maybelline. Um, so one eye, I'm going to put the uh, mascara primer and one I I am not so that we can see the difference. I'm going to curl both sides because I always curl my lashes. Um, so some things about this is ranges from $12.99 to $9.99. It depends where you get it. So like Ulta and Walgreens I believe are $12.99. They always have coupons whereas like Target and Walmart are $9.99 because they don't have coupons as much or I guess they do sometimes but not nearly as much as like Ulta and Walgreens. So $9.99, $12.99, not a bad price for a lash primer, I don't think. Um, on the actual package, it says it has extreme length, amplified volume, and it's serum infused, which is pretty cool. Our first tinted mascara primer for extreme length and care, sky high impact amplified. Lash amplifying tinted formula, 90% saw ultra lengthen lashes when worn mascara up to 1.5 times the volume versus sky high washable mascara alone. And then it is serum or a serum infused base with ceramide and vitamin B5. Lashes feel soft with four weeks of daily use. So I don't really care about that as much because I already use a lash serum, but it's still kind of a cool benefit that your lashes aren't going to like get worse with this, I guess. So let's open it up. I do like that the tube is a different color so you can make sure you know that it's your lash primer, even though it is black. So this is what it looks like. Same exact uh, brush as the Sky High Mascara, which is great. Um... And first, we're going to curl both sides of our eyes. I'm going to get nice and close. Okay, so I'm going to put my lash primer on the right eye. So this is in soft black, so I don't think it's going to be as black as, like, most mascaras. Okay, so just like the Sky High Mascara, this is coating very well, very quickly. But I do remember from the Sky High Mascara that it can get clumpy, so I'm trying not to put too much. And go slow. Okay, so that's as much primer as I'm gonna put on. Honestly, already a good coverage and I love the fact that it's black. We're gonna have to let that one dry. So I'm just gonna put on the mascara on this side. Like I said, I'm using the Maybelline Curl Bounce. And it's kind of just a coincidence that I like another Maybelline mascara, but this is the mascara I've been using for months. Like I said, in every day to day like wear, I always use a lash primer unless I'm doing like five minute makeup and I don't have time. So this mascara does work well without one, but not nearly as well as it does with a lash primer. So I'm excited to see what it looks like. I guess I also could have compared it to the Essence one, but kind of like seeing what it looks like without, or without a primer and then with. If I had three eyes, I could do all of that. So even without a primer, this mascara works really well. 
All right, we're gonna let this side dry a little bit more and then see, I will say I can already tell since it is a very wet formula, which is something that I don't love about some mascaras is that my uh, lashes are starting to become uncurled. That's not that unusual and the Essence one does do that, especially when it's a new tube. So I'm not gonna like knock it completely, but I want a lash primer that doesn't weigh down my lashes and like make them wet so that it just like flattens. Does that make sense? All right, let's go in with mascara now. All right, I can already tell volume is there. Like, very voluminous, um, a little bit clumpy. Or a lot of it clumpy. But it's not like a lot of length. So, okay. This side definitely looks bigger, bolder. And I like, to be honest, I like clumpy lashes. I like lashes that are very coated in mascara, okay? But this is kind of extreme as far as lashes. And like I said, it's not giving me the length, it's giving me volume, which I feel like volume is easier to get versus length. So like I said, here is the one with the lash primer, here is the one without. Obviously this one definitely looks better, um, more vol voluminous, etc. Do I love it? No. I don't love it. Uh, like I said, I love the Essence Lash Primer. That is my go-to, it has been for years, and I just don't think this one lives up to it because it does get clumpy so quickly. Um, it looks good, but it's not, it's not lengthening. It's only giving volume, and I feel like I can build up mascaras to get that volume without getting clumpy so quickly, and then also, I can get more length with the Essence one. So unfortunately, I think this is a pass for me. Will I continue using it? Maybe, but like it's not going to be preferred. And this one was more expensive than the Essence Lash Primer. I think the Essence one is like $5.99 or something. It's very affordable. So unfortunately, not the best. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to stay tuned for more review videos. I have a lot more coming. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in a video very, very soon. Bye, guys.